YouTube, what's up? Um, I just wanted to talk a little bit huh, about my uh, recent trip to Paoli, Indiana, which is about four and a half hours south of South Bend, where I am right now. I left last Friday morning about 10 o'clock. We ended up getting there about 3, which was check-in time. So, uh, that was cool. We rented a cabin, if you will. Just a little, like, one bedroom, if you will. It's basically a studio. Except for the toilet and the shower. And, uh... We went to, um... Wild Wilston? I guess that's how you probably say it. Uh, it's like an animal wildlife ranch for encounters and lodging and they had zip lines and horseback riding and all this other cool stuff. It's It was definitely a relaxing yet enjoyable experience with plenty to do. We just got back into town Wednesday, which was yesterday afternoon or so. I unpacked when I got here and I visited with my dogs who I hired a sitter for and she did a phenomenal job on not only sending me pictures of them throughout their day or whatever, but, you know, she would take them outside and she would feed them and she basically just stayed here while I was gone, which was cool. Also, she actually did a little laundry for me and took the trash out. She did all kinds of weird stuff. Brought all the mail in. I mean, it was really kind of nice. That she did all that. Um, I found her through a company called Rover.com. It's like a pet sitting um, company. Anyway, so the dogs were quite happy to see me when I came home yesterday. But going back to the to the trip, um, we got there about Friday, like I said. We checked in about three or so. Um, we kind of got situated a little bit. Went to the local Walmart, picked up some groceries, although for some reason, I think we ate before we did that. We went to some burger joint out there, and then we went to the grocery store, and we didn't really end up getting a whole lot of groceries, like basically just to eat off of for the week. And by the week, I mean for the five days we were there, and I think we kind of fucked that up because we realized that we had to go the next day because it's like we only bought like half of a loaf of bread and just, I'm like, we're not going to, this isn't going to last, I don't think. Because we ended up, like I said, uh, staying there till Wednesday. So it was like five days or whatever. Excuse me. But, so Saturday, I think it was Saturday we ended up. Um, I don't really remember what we did day to day. Um, I do have a shit ton of footage. Hours of video and lots of hundreds of pictures, probably. But um, we did like schedule a sloth encounter, which is basically feeding a sloth. It's like an educational thing. It was like a half hour or so. Um, we had a encounter scheduled with elephants, and uh, it was, again, it's educational. It was a it was a spa. You get to you get to hose the elephants. And then you get to take these big brushes and basically bathe them, uh, give, them their, give them their baths. Um, what other? I think we did a couple more encounters, but right now the, the oh, we did a wolf encounter, which is really cool because being a dog person, I was excited about it. But the fact that they were just exactly like that, they were really a lot like your domesticated dog would be. Um, the puppies were a little more wild. You can definitely tell. Um, they just had a more wild look to them, and they were really, really, really energetic. Um, but the handler um, who did the did the wolf encounter actually let us, like the night before we were going to leave, meet the uh, coyote that they had out there. And I think it was another wolf that was out there. So that was neat, too. So we got to spend a little bit of time with that, um, with them, I should say. Um, what other encounters? Oh, there's a ruse and cruise encounter, which is basically... It's like seven bucks, um, and you go in and you get to like hang with the kangaroos for a little bit and pet them and whatever, and just kind of experience animals in a different light than a zoo would do because a, a lot of them, a lot of zoos don't have like this direct contact, you know. And I had no idea kangaroos' fur was as soft as it is. It's like a like a plush animal, really. 
so that was cool. We got to feed some giraffes. Um, we got to take a, uh, I guess it's like a, like a, like a path, like a, kind of like a safari ride. You can either use your own vehicle or you can pay for the, uh, that was the other thing I think we ended up doing. Um, like scheduling, I should say, it was like a uh, tractor ride, wagon ride, whatever. We ended up doing both. We took my truck down there. We took it through the safari ride, which is basically you just stop and you they give you like a cup of food and you get to feed certain animals and like the llamas and the alpacas and some of the uh, the other wildlife out there. Um, I want to say, I don't know if they were ponies or what the hell they were. Rams, that kind of thing. Gazelles. I don't know. Some of the, some of the animals actually came, would come to your window or come to the truck and just like look at you and and you feed them and they're just like chilling and it was, it was really an awesome experience um they were a lot more social a lot more willing to come up to you when we did it via the tractor wagon ride because like literally um there's a video i'm gonna post later here on this channel um there's actually like llamas and alpacas you can see them running towards us as we're driving because they're just so excited to see people and they know what the wagon means that means that they're gonna they're gonna eat and they just like we're just like surrounded and it's really kind of really a unique uh experience um also they had two camels i didn't, I didn't realize I, I i think i have like this thing with camels now because i didn't realize just how awesome camels are these camels that they had were so affectionate and just so fun to be around, which sounds really strange. I've never been so close up, uh, up close up personal with a camel, obviously, but man, they, you feed them the carrots and, and they, they, they literally get in your face and they'll smell your face or they'll rub your, their faces against, against yours. And they like getting pet. They like getting touched. They didn't, they didn't mind any of that stuff. You could just. You know, I took, obviously me and the girl, my girlfriend went and they, they did the same thing to her. And it was just, it was just a, it was just such a almost personal experience. Cause it was almost like my favorite thing of the whole trip, even though there wasn't really much to do other than visit them or feed them or whatever. But, um, like even if you saw them, cause I had like a, like a, like a shelter that they would come up to you with. And then behind it was a gate. And then they can just go out to pasture, you know, and do whatever. And man, sometimes we would we would come up to the to the enclosure, which I guess is like a little barn. And if we saw them or they saw us, we would just call them over, and they would literally just start walking right around the gate and up to us. We didn't have any food or nothing. They were just like, "Oh, people, we're happy to see you again. You guys have been here, you know, yada yada yada." Um, Edith and Gypsy were their names. And man, were they <laughs> they were just the sweetest. Camels I've ever met. Not that I've ever met many camels, but geez, oh we, awesome, awesome animals. Just the horses they had out there. They had this monster horse named Tonka. He's gonna be in another video that I'm gonna post later on. He's just ginormous. I don't think I've ever seen a big, a bigger horse in my life. Um, the thing's legs were just, I mean, just this whole. It was just so much taller than every all the other horses. It just dwarfed everything. Um, but I found out it's his name was Tonka, is Tonka, whatever. Man, I mean, just what a what a great experience. Um, I'm gonna be, I'm, like I said, I'm gonna be uploading all the encounters that we did and and whatnot, and uh, some of the trips that we did outside of the park, um, which was also cool because we were in between Orleans, Indiana, which was north of us, probably about ten mi ten minutes. And then another 10 minutes, 20 minutes south, or southeast or something, was uh, French Lick, Indiana, which is another, I don't want to say another, but it definitely tell it was like a touristy town. It had a casino and a resort and a water park and all this other good, fun, cool stuff. Uh, we did some shopping in French Lick. I ended up buying an old rusty shovel. Maybe I'll put a picture of it. I don't know. I don't have a picture of it, but an old rusty shovel with like a jack-o'-lantern carving into the spade. I just thought that was cool. Not really a carving, but you know, 
I think she bought her like a like a pumpkin shaped light fixture you can hang outside, put a put a candle in it or whatever. I mean, just they have this really cool, unique shops, which is what her and I look for. Anytime we go anywhere, we always look for like the antique shops and the flea markets and the gift shops and the, the, the do-it-yourselves and all that kind of stuff, you know. That's the kind of stuff we're into. Um, the big retail stores are great and all, but I think you've seen one, you've seen them all. So, um, well, French Lick was actually really awesome. Um, I think, I'm trying to remember, if we did eat somewhere around there. I don't think we did. I think we ate in Orleans, Indiana. Which, Orleans, Indiana is a little town, literally like a time capsule, if you will. It looks like it's still stuck in 1955. Um, and it's awesome. I fucking love it. I just fucking think it's great. It's just so peaceful, so quiet. Um, we ended up going to this pizza place. I fucking really remember wish I... Yeah. I wish I remember what it was called right now. Um... I didn't study before I started filming, apparently. It may come to me, who knows. But, um, man. It's just this, it's just this row, like this building, that's just, it, I don't know, it's just so hard to explain. There's gonna be a video on it, I'm sure. Um, the town, it's like centered with a, with a, with a park, a nice, just beautiful park. With a fountain, and just a, just a, like a gazebo, where... They probably do concerts and shows and just, I don't know, just, there's an ice cream shop down the street. The, the police station is no bigger than a house. Two squad cars out front. That's probably all they need. I mean, just a, just a quaint little town and I fucking love it. Oh man, what was the name of that pizza place? Damn it. I'll probably have to find it and link it at least. But man, what a, what a, what a great trip. Um, we did take another day. Um... I don't remember what day it was. It doesn't really matter. We took another day. We went to Jasper, Indiana, which is about an hour away. Okay. 45 minutes in a Chevy. Um, did a lot of shopping there. Again, it was another town. It was bigger than the other two. Maybe not so much French Lick, but shopping-wise, it definitely had, it had like an antique mall. It had some gift shops. It had all that good stuff. Again, antique stores and like I said, that's that's the stuff we went we went for, and um, while we were in Jasper, um, we went to Mitchell, Indiana, which is another small town stuck in another time again. But by the time we got to Mitchell, things were closing down. There was an antique store sitting there. It was like no car. I'm like it's it's like a four or something, four twenty. Um. Said they closed to five, but I guess that must have closed early. It must have been Tuesday or something, probably. But so we ended up. I was on my phone looking for some place to eat. We we're like, man, we gotta get some. She was looking for like some Amish food or some good uh, down home cooking Southern style food. And boy, did we find it! It was at the uh, Spring Mill State Park, which I don't know if that's even in Mitchell. It's around that area somewhere. It's this huge park. We had no idea it was even there. I just went and Googled it, you know, like Amish style restaurants or whatever, you know. It was the closest one that came up, even though I think it was another 20 miles or whatever. And it was like, like I said, it was Spring Mill restaurant or whatever you want to call it. So we get there and we got to pay to park, seven, eight bucks, whatever. So we drive through the park and end up parking. They had a parking garage in the middle of the park, or not in the middle, I guess, but inside the park. There's a parking garage, and then the restaurant slash hotel is there. So we walk in, like, you know, two, yeah, da, 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 we sit down, and there's like, there's like a menu, and you either ordered, like, fried chicken or country fried steak or the catfish, or they had all these side options, and anyway, yada, yada. Long story short, we both got the, I want to say it was country fried steak, maybe? It was this big old hunkin' thing of country fried steak, a big old serving of mashed potatoes, and a bowl of green beans, that's what I got, with, of course, they served us with some bread, I ordered a bowl of chili, um, and a salad, we were stuffed, I don't think I've ever been full off of one dinner plate before, and we even ordered dessert, 
probably not the smartest thing we've done. Um, I don't even remember what it was. It was some kind of apple butter. It's almost like cinnamon biscuits and apple butter or something. I was like, well, how big is this dessert? Because we're pretty full, but we'd like to try this this uh, dessert that you have. Man, he's like, oh, she's like, oh, it's like 10 biscuits or 12 biscuits. So they're not very big. You know, they're like, the, they're like, whatever, you know. I'm like, not very big. So the, so the fucking thing comes out. We ended up eating probably half of half of them. We ended up taking the other ones back to the cottage, if you will. And man, just, just, I'm just gonna sit here and scratch myself while I, <laughs> while I think about any other thing that I may have missed that we did, or we didn't do, or whatever. But man, what a, what an awesome, awesome vacation. It was relaxing. We did a lot of just chilling outside, just laying in bed, just. Just relaxing, just what a vacation is supposed to be, you know. We didn't, we didn't do anything too, too crazy. Like we didn't do the zip or anything or nothing like that. But man, those animals and just the way they interact with people was was definitely worth the trip. I don't know. I spent a lot of money at the gift shop. I don't know buying a hundred dollar plush camel. Yes, you've heard this right. A hundred dollar plush camel. It's upstairs in my guitar room. I don't know what to do with him. He's bigger than I thought he was. I thought he was just gonna stand. He's like a. He's like stands. He's got like. He's got like this metal skeleton almost inside of him because you can pose him. Anyway, I don't know why I'm telling you all this. I had a great time. She had a great time. We didn't really want it to end, but it did. It had to. And sadly, we're back home. <laughs> But home is where the heart is, I guess, whatever. We're going to have to probably go back. I don't know when. I don't know if it'll be next year. Who knows? But man, what an awesome, awesome, awesome place to go. I don't know why I keep saying that. Because it is, that's why. Anyway, look forward to more. I look forward to all these videos I spent most of today editing and merging and whatever. It will be uploaded to my channel probably throughout the week. I'm probably going to do one every day, every other day, whatever the hell I decide to do. But until then, you all take it easy. And please, please, please be good to each other. Thank you.